Despite the controversies behind TV Joshua, his talks, his upbringing, everything, 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 I believe strongly that that man was a gift of God to the world. Now, I'm going to be very, very practical. I'm going to use three things. Number one, the proof of a man is in the man's ministry and in the man's family. I happen to understand that this man in question, T.B. Joshua, has three children, three girls. And in this world of social media, if they were not brought up well, we will be seeing them in the club and somebody will snap their picture and put it on Insta blog or put it on the blog and say, T.B. Joshua's daughter seen drinking in this club or T.B. Joshua's daughter was found fighting somebody in club three let me tell you a truth that you don't know many of you don't know children don't listen to what you say they listen to what you do if you understand that children don't listen to what you say they listen to what you do if the man's life was a paradox his children will show it and we will see it in the world that this man was a failed man of god there are many true men of god that their children are smoking in their hem there are many true men of god that their children are club popping every day i know pastor's children like i'm a pastor's child and i know what i went through i know the kind of lifestyle i led before god brought me into his into his into his fold i know what i i know the kind of life i led before i came back to god so many times we are so quick to judge, not looking at the intricacies. The children of this man that passed on, TB Joshua, would have shown us who he really was if he was wrong. Number one, the children. Number two, the fact that this man has no education. is a premise six student. And everything he achieved, rationally speaking, is unachievable by somebody who does not have an education. As a matter of fact, it struggles the, the widely spoken language of Nigeria, which is English as an Anglophone country. He struggled with speaking it, and yet he was able to rise to, his, to some heights, despite the fact that he has no education. Let me just say it this way. If he's not against us, he's for us. That's what I heard. Now... What was the problem of T.B. Joshua? The problem of T.B. Joshua was foundation. But T.B. Joshua did not have a heritage. He was born by Muslims. He's from a Muslim background. He's from a Muslim background. His father was Muslim. His mother was an Elijah. So he, was, he, he had a Muslim background. And the place, obviously, where he knew Christianity from was in the white garment sect, which was a sect that had a problem with the mainstream body of Christ. He had a problem. Why? Because of some of their practices. Don't wear shoes, uh, the water thing, the Oshofa kind of thing, the Urimoladi kind of thing, which I'm not saying they are not of God, but they had a problem with the mainstream educated form of Christianity. The impact that that man made on art. <laughs> Many of them, if they live three lifetimes, they cannot have that impact. Three lifetimes. That is, if they live to 100 and they come back and come back and come back. This man single-handedly opened a country. What was the name of the country? South Sudan. When South Sudan was breaking away from Sudan, the president called him, I, I think it's South Sudan, the dark people, the... Uh, I've forgotten their name. He single-handedly went there. They invited him for the opening. He will go to your nation. He will shut it down. Not with Nigerians, though. With the white people of with the people with the people of that nation, he shut down South Korea, shut down even Israel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And somebody said, Oh, he was sick that he could not travel to get me. I'm like, the TV Joshua is stronger than your president, than our president. Do you know that if the man was really sick, the way some people are shouting that he was sick, a private flight would have carried him out of Nigeria, no doubt. And somebody said uh, he was preaching that people should not take medication and he was taking medication. That is a lie. I personally saw times where he gave people money for surgery. 
I saw times where he gave people money. He counted money and said, go and do a surgery. And when the person's surgery succeeds, he will bring the person back. There was a boy that his father loved children. His father, his father was killed. And this boy needed a surgery. And this man paid for the surgery. He went out of the country to do the surgery. And doing the surgery, he came back and he gave testimony about the surgery. There was a man that police shot the wife and shot the man through the jaw. This man gave them money. This man was a giver. He was a philanthropist. To India. Yes, he sent them to India. Now, people are saying he was preaching anointing water. Why, did he, why was he sick? Even if he was sick, he never preached that he should not take medication. People stop taking medication because of their stupidity. He never preached. Do not take medication. Now, I'm sounding like, oh, I'm pro TV Joshua. I'm not pro TV Joshua. I don't know what, he, what his weaknesses are because I don't know him. Because... I don't know what he does behind closed doors, but by their fruits you shall know them. So if he was really sick, he could have easily traveled out of the country with a private jet and they would treat him in the best hospitals in the world because he had so much <laughs> power. But let me tell you why he died. If you are climbing a ladder and there is nowhere to climb again, the next, the next thing that remains is a fall. This man reached the zenith of his life at the age of 57. What is zenith? Zenith is the peak of any pyramid. The peak of anything. Because the zenith of his life, there was nothing that anybody wants to do that this man has not done. I'm talking of in the body of Christ. I'm telling you the truth. Even the babas that are older than him in age, that are still alive, have not done half of what he has done. Many of them will have a crusade in London and it's only the blacks, that will, Nigerian blacks, that will be in that crusade. This man will have a crusade in a place. Law of Dimension Return, thank you. He has reached his Law of Dimension Return. He has peaked. There's nothing that anybody wants to do that this man has not done. Is he touch lights? Is he see his secrets? Is he see things? Is he do this? Is he do that? Is he do that? Is he doing this? Is he doing that? Today I'm going to teach us something after I said the reason why he died. Number one, he has read the zenith. Number two, he has read diminishing returns of his life. Number three, he has achieved so much that there's nothing to achieve again. And for God to raise another, Elisha, Elijah has to go. Now only God knows the Elisha. I'm not saying I am. But for God to raise another person like him, that person has to go. Number three, the Good ones are taken before the evil day. So a personal non grata, many of them coming out to say, we thank God a charlatan has died. He died in his sleep. He did not die of cancer. Cancer did not. He was still preaching that day. They said he's sick, that he couldn't fly out of the country. I'm like, what kind of myopic? He couldn't, Tim Joshua couldn't fly out of where? If they lock down the world, if he wants to fly, he will fly. And nobody will know. This man preached the gospel. He ministered to his people. He talked to them, he smiled with them, he put my phone in their mouth. He laid hands a few weeks ago. Then he died. Why do people speak? Let's say even he's a bad man. Why must you curse the dead as if you are not going to die? Yes, they say his building collapsed, 180 people died. Do you think if he was not backed up by heaven, do you think that he would not have closed down? People don't think. That is a debt that everybody must pay. But the truth is this, this man did not die, he transceded. Number four, T.B. Joshua was hated by his brothers. And the truth is, such a thing makes you weary and tired. There comes a time where a prophet will say, God, take me home. Elijah got to that place. Why? Because a woman threatened him when he, was, when he thought he would be honored for the mighty thing he did for God. He asked God to take him. Asking God to take you might not be with words and prayers. God, but when you get tired, the moment they blocked his channel on, 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 uh, on YouTube, I knew something was wrong. The timing changed. A man that saw God move in power. Yes, people call these miracles tricks. But the truth is this. Were they tricks? No. 
I knew people who were healed. Yes, they were healed by the power of devil. The devil cannot cast out the devil. The devil doesn't do good. If you claim it's the devil, then the devil must be amazing. I knew a man who never flaunted his wealth, who lived a very humble life. That's why some people can come out to say he, they locked him out of, they locked him, he couldn't travel. I want to tell you how he lived. I don't know him. Many people that are in my father and mother's stream will hate me for this video. And will say, well, why would he say T.B. Joshua lived a good life? I'm telling you today, he lived a life that was powerful. He lived a life of giving. Yes, he might have had weaknesses in his life. But weaknesses don't stop God from our life. As a matter of fact, God loves us because we are weak. And the truth is, he lived for 57 years, but he actually lived more than the lifetime of many, 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 many millions of people. He touched lives. For the president of our nation, a Muslim, to send condolences, for president of nations, to send condolences. But the truth is this. Tilby Joshua was a man of God. He was misunderstood because of his pattern, because of the way he started out. People said he, he metamorphosized from a witch doctor to a white garment, then to a Pentecostal. No, he didn't metamorphosize. He was wise enough to take change. That is even the mark of a great man. A man who is fluid to adapt. is unbeatable, according to the words of Bruce Lee, the greatest martial art of all time. He learned from everybody. Learned how to try and speak English. Learned how to meet up with the gifts that God has given to him. His ministry remains an amazement. Many people are going to make cheap publicity of his death. But I'm going to tell you what's going to happen after his death. Listen to me. They are going to bury him. Remember I said after his death. They are going to bury him. And that place will become another Mecca. People will get there. They will put video there. And people will be rolling and vomiting. And giving testimony of how they were healed at his burial ground. And some people are going to come out to say Christians are now practicing necromancy. Because they have forgotten that the Bible says even the bones of Elijah came into contact with a dead thief and he rose. Christianity is a religion. Spirituality is life. It's post hummus birthday. Somebody said, uh, he said, there are many birthdays to celebrate. People will celebrate June 12 his birthday. Some countries, go and write it down, We make June 12 a public holiday because of his death. Hello, <laughs> Colin. I'm talking of a man that shook the world. There's none before like him except Baba Idaosa. And he did greater than Baba Idaosa. He shut down nations. I honored him. Like I honor every man of God. Every man of God, I honor them. Why do I honor them? Because the God in their life, they might have weaknesses. For all I've seen and fall short of the glory of God. But this man was anointed. Imagine they love him in South Africa and many of them died. And yet they still loved him. That man was backed up by heaven. He slept. He transcended. He left this body. His consciousness left this body. <laughs> His consciousness left this body. But the consciousness is living. Sorry to say, his mantle was not dropped. Only God can give his mantle to whosoever. Now his mantle can be dropped. You can't take the mantle of a living. You take the mantle of a gun servant, a gun soldier. That's when you pick up the gun. That means I'm not using his mantle. I have my own mantle by God's grace. Mantle of power and fire. Yes, we are alike. <laughs> we are not the same. He carried a peculiar anointing. Very similar to the one that God has blessed me with. By his grace. He was married for 30 years. His wife never came out to say he beat me. Everybody was talking against her. The woman stayed by her husband. 
Trust me, if he was a fake man, no woman will stay. <laughs> Women, you are here, you know yourself. No woman will stay. The church grew more, yes. Some people say you use them, you use them, you use them. You didn't use anybody. <laughs> you don't know what it means to use. You think, it's, you think Satan is such a free giver? Say God is taking the wife. Somebody said God is taking the wife to twenty billion. Now he has judged division. Is that if you want to judge somebody that is wicked? Is that to judge the person? You judge the person. The whole country standing still. Everybody is talking good, talking good, talking good. People are crying that God don't let him die. I told a friend of mine, I want him. I said, stop speaking against men of God, please. He was my classmate. Um, I told him, I said, you are a nice guy, stop. You don't know what they are carrying, leave them. I tell you, everybody here, please, many people don't know why they have a problem. Many people don't know. Many people don't know why they have a problem. They don't know. If God is going to raise an Elisha, he will raise somebody from his... From his stream, somebody who served him with all the heart. That's how God, God, God raises Elisha. Uh, just going to be a protest. Many people will not come out for the protest. It's just going to be a protest, normal protest. People will just sing slowly, darity forever. People are afraid of the police. People are afraid of war, of problem. I'm telling you the truth. A man stood, he saw, and he conquered. I knew girls that he raised that never said he raped them. So all these rape stories. I don't know where people get it from. I will say this. T.B. Joshua, he came, he saw, he conquered. He came, he saw, he conquered. I've never mentioned him in my church. I've never mentioned him anywhere. But this one, watching him from a distance, he came, he saw, he conquered. But when we get to heaven, there will be surprises. There will be surprises. T.B. Joshua actually had a silver garment. A garment of betrayal. A garment of hatred. Many people will choose gold over silver. Silver is what people were betrayed by. That's why it wasn't accepted. His mantle was made of silver. Precious, but overlooked. Because silver... It's really close to steel. Really close to steel. Or close to iron. People like the glittering. The glittering uh, uh, gold. But we thank God. In heaven there shall be many surprises. The person you are looking at as a witch might end up going to heaven. And you that you saw yourself as a saint might end up going to the other one. But may we not be found wanting. People did not understand the miracles. People did not understand people manifesting and confessing. But I've seen it. It's real. People confess and miracles take place. Demons and people speak out to teach others not to fall. If a demon comes and says, I enter through fornication. Any man that sleeps with her, his life will spoil. It's a way of telling people do not fornicate. There's a message confession can preach that a sermon will never preach because it's practical. The fear of God is restored when you see the power of God in manifestation. The fear of God is restored when you see the power of God in manifestation. There are some things many of people in my church will not do because they know that if they do it, demon can enter. For a few years to come, they will write books about him. Many people will seek God. God, give me the mantle of T.P. Joshua. Somebody you people hated. The way you are shouting, the mantle of William Branham, let it fall upon me. William Branham was more hated by the church. His life was full of woes. And William Branham even died younger. And in a worse way, William Branham died in an accident. And many of the prophecies he gave are still coming to pass till today. Woe unto a generation. Cursed be a generation that celebrates their heroes after they are dead. Many people ran away from T.B. Joshua. Not that they didn't know he was a man of God. They didn't want to be associated with him. He constantly reminded us, I'm reading this, about love and forgiveness. We celebrate him 
the heaven of God received an angel. And also, it is time. This year I gave a prophecy. The Lord said to me, the lead is off. Very deep words. The lead is removed. His last word was, never forget the needy. What a wonderful, amazing man of God. His ministry will stand. The lead is off. His ministry might not stand as synagogue. God does not have any, any, any church. God is not redeemed. He's not deeper life. He's not synagogue. He's not FMIC. He's God. Ministry standing is not a structure or a name standing. It's the movement of God in a dimension in continuation. The movement of God in continuation. The movement of God in continuation. But once demons are still trembling, once people are still shouting, and people are still getting healed and delivered by the power of God, his ministry continued. <laughs> so it's not about it's not about FMIC, it's not about uh, anybody, it's not about any church. It's about the spirit of God not leaving the church. Wow. So, my question, is still just real or fake? Trust me, it's real, as real as it gets. It's real as it gets. The lid is off, an explosion is coming. Positive explosion. The power of God is still real. The lead is of means that what was hidden is about to become exposed positively. Positively. A new season has come. A new season has come. But the lead is off. A candle must die for another candle to light the house. Daniel was a real prophet and was welcomed everywhere. It's not the rule for every prophet not to be welcomed in their home. Jesus said, prophet is without honor. Honor is different from welcome. Honor means they will not be validated. Like they will talk, nobody will listen to them. Nobody listens to prophecy until it happens. Nobody listens to prophecy until it happens. Nobody. Nobody. I know there are some people that are not even typing, they are just watching me, and in their mind they are saying, hmm. So this prophet can say, TB Joshua is real. Don't worry, God sees your heart. But the truth is this I will not lie. I will not lie. I'm not saying it was perfect. I'm saying that there was the touch of the celestial upon his life. There was the touch of what? The celestial, the heavens upon his life. Meditate on what I said, the four things I said. Number one, his children. Number two, his education. Number three, the persecution he faced. Number four, the fact that you can be in the plane with a person, but because you are not in the same class, in the plane, you will not know it's in the plane until you get to your destination. Take what I said to the bank. Who was the lead? Mm. The prophecy is being fulfilled. Mm. What was the lead? The prophecy is being fulfilled. Now, when the lead is off, the aroma, the steam, the beauty of what you are cooking is visible to the world. 2021 now, him going to be with the Lord means that people that are gifted in that realm will come out more. The era has ended. Another era is arriving.